What's up, Bully World? Look, man, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and the cons of the weapon box versus the swimming pool, right? So everybody knows, man, I use both. I use the pool, I use the weapon box, but I never get a chance to tell y'all what I actually like about the pool, what I actually don't like about the pool. Same thing with the weapon box. So uh, I'm gonna do that in this video. We're gonna talk about all the rest of the bulls and a little bit more. Just tap in. What's up, everybody? This is Mo Kennel. So you guys, man, look, welcome to the channel, man. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to me. Go ahead and hit that bell notification, man. That way, every time we upload a video, you just you, you tap right into more Kennel World, man. It'll come as a notification to your phone. And, and I mean, you tapped in at that point. All you gotta do is click on the link and you're coming over to the more Kennel World, baby. So uh, first things first, man, I wanna talk about pool versus the weapon box, all right? Now, I'm sure you can see both of them behind me. I got my pool on this side. I got my weapon box on this side. And, uh, and I got Muir's litter on this side. And then I got McLaren's litter on this side. Today's video is not really a puppy showing video. Um, just more or less. I mean, I could grab a puppy while I talk about it. But you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me do that. Let me go ahead and grab a pup right quick. Let me just grab one. I don't know how still she's gonna stay, but you know, as long as she's staying still, I'll sit here with my pup. But uh anyway, so man, just the weapon box versus the pool. You know what I'm saying? So you guys know I started doing different phases to when it comes to um just just whooping puppies, delivering puppies, having litters. I have different phases to the grind. I have phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. And those are things that we've already talked about in a couple other recent videos. Uh, right now, currently, we're past stage one and we are officially in stage two for both litters. Both litters are, are off mom. Both litters are being uh, fed mush. I still have to do my video on how I make my mush, man. Like I told, man, look, this is the simplest, simplest process to make my mush, y'all. I don't do a bunch of the different stuff making my mush it's clearly it's, it's it's literally one of the easiest things that anybody can really do it you know what i'm saying anybody can do it anybody can uh can take you know can take whatever they you you learn from this youtube channel and apply it to your to your program you know so first things first man like i said we're in phase two and so the swimming pool is is more or less for phase one all right and phase two uh phase one phase two those are typically my swimming pool stages. As you can see, I have McLaren's litter inside of the weapon box. I just built the weapon box last week. And then I got yours litter. They're still inside of the pool. So they just started phase two. All right. They just started phase two. Um, honestly, the first day that I gave them mush, from the first day I gave them mush, they were, you know, it instantly clicked. And that's one of the things I like about having smaller litters is, that like it literally clicks like they learn from each other really really quickly and i think it benefits the group i think it benefits the group as a whole when you have a couple dogs and you know they're picking up things really really fast for one they get a lot of nutrients uh, they have a lot of milk a lot of nutrients from your it wasn't a bus to share so of course these puppies are like really really thick like these are some really thick pups and you know that's kind of what i anticipated with having a small litter and that was one of the other like benefits to have a small litter. There's cons and it's pros to everything you do. But, you know, I, I like to, you know, I like to live my life on the beneficial side and most of the positive side and not really, you know, uh, reflect on some of the negative things. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to suck my finger right now. I think she might, I think she might want to get back in with her sister and her brother, y'all. She's starting to get a little squirmy. But uh, yeah, that's, that's just how I like to do things, man. So phase one uh, is just simply feeding on mom. Uh, I like the pool for that reason, the small pools for that reason, because uh, when they're nursing, you gotta do a lot of, of, of hands-on, hands-on with these dogs. It's not like any other breed. You gotta be really hands-on with these pups when you're nursing. And so that just requires me getting pups and placing them on the nipples or, you know, getting pups, taking them off the nipples, just helping them find, helping them find where the food is at. Cause of course, everybody knows when pups are born, they don't hear, 
they don't see uh, anything. So real quick, man, I want to give a shout out to my boy Fred, FBS the barber, man. I got one of his shirts on, man. I'm rocking his brand today in my video. So shout out to you, Fred, man. I hope you're watching this video. You get a chance to see. And uh, that's just how we rock it, man. If anybody has any brand that they want to send me, and I'll I'll, I'll I'll rock it in your I'll rock it in my video, man. Just a just a little promotion that I'm running. So if you got anything, anybody's repping their business, small businesses out there, just let me know, man. If you got some merch, you want me to wear it in my YouTube video, send it over. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's promotion that I'm got going on. So back to the swimming pools. So yeah, the pool is a lot is is way better, especially you know when you're on that phase one stage, in and out. You uh, it's the cleaning is is very very easy when you got the pool. All you're doing is literally spraying it, wiping it dry, and putting it back in there. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a very very simple process as far as you know cleaning and maintenance goes. And so switching over to phase two. As I move to phase two, I like to, I like to um. I like to keep them inside the pool for phase two. Even McLaren's litter, they was in they was in the pool when they started phase two, which is basically just feeding. And you know, I like that just so I can like I like I said, I'm hands on. I want to place the puppies right next to the food. I want to dip my finger in the food. I want them to taste the food, smell the food off my finger, and then just kind of lure them into uh, where they eat at. I'm trying to lure them into the the, the food bowl. Where you going, girl? Where you going? I don't know where she's trying to go, y'all, but she's trying to get up out of here. I'll tell you that. This is my keeper female, y'all. This is my Merle keeper female, man. I know I'm, I'm getting off track. I told y'all this wasn't a puppy showing video, but I had to show my girl, so. Yeah, I don't even, I think this is like blue and silver. She like blue and silver. Crazy, right? She's crazy, she's crazy, she's crazy. So, uh, yeah, that's that. But when I do build the weapon box, so the thing that, it's different. The things that benefit me from the weapon box other than the swimming pool is when you got those four walls up, they can't see mom anymore. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they can smell them, but they can't see mom anymore. And when they start phase two, they can still see mom. So when I feed them, they eat a little bit, but they know in the back of their head, hey, my mom's right there. You can, I'm waiting on her. So it's a little irritating. It's a little, you know, you got to have a lot of patience. But at the end of the day, you put that weapon box up, they can't see mom anymore, so in between feedings, they're just kind of thinking like, man, when is this dude gonna put some more food in here? Instead of, when is my mom coming back? You know what I'm saying? You don't want your dogs thinking about the mom. And with my and with Miora's litter, man, look, I'm, I sabbed them out, man. They gotta thug it out because they reached three weeks, two days. They're three weeks and three days today. Yesterday, they were three weeks and two days, and, and their mom wasn't in there all day. I didn't let Miora go in all day. Uh, I, I take that back. She went in yesterday morning for breakfast, but after breakfast, she did not come back inside that pool. I got her kennel. I put her kennel down from the loft, and I put her kennel back up. Her kennel's back there in the corner, and, and she's in her corner. She's on her kennel far, far away from them on the complete opposite side of the facility. So, love this girl, man. So, they can't see her neither, and they'll be... Uh, Miora's puppies will be inside of this weapon box in the next three or four days. I just, I just don't want to put them in there just yet. You know what I'm saying? Them other puppies are kind of big. These puppies aren't completely walking yet. They're getting there. They're standing, but they're not walking. They're not going to be able to keep up. They're not going to be able to keep up with them puppies. So this puppy's three and a half weeks, right? Let me, let me show y'all this up this boy here, man. Like just to show you the comparison. So this boy, let me stand up. This boy is still the same size. He's the same size as puppies, 14, 11 days younger than him. That's how much this boy, that's how small this boy is. This boy is four and a half weeks. This girl just turned three. Oh, stuff on his nose, bro. I'm about to get a baby wipe and clean his nose off. But this boy is four and a half weeks versus three weeks. Four and a half weeks versus three weeks, y'all. <laughs> and this boy is still, you know what I'm saying? He's he's crazy, man. He's crazy. I'm going to hold both of them. But look, so, but the weapon box does help. It does help a lot, man. It trains them to not only depend, to not only depend on me and the food, but it gets them away from the nipples and it gets them away from mom. And it, it lets me help moms heal up a lot more. You got a lot, a lot quicker. Sorry about that. So I've been walking. Me or McLaren every day for about a half mile. Every day, every morning, we go for a walk. You know, I'm just trying to draw them nipples back up, 
how they're supposed to be, right? Right? And then, you know, eventually they'll be for sale. So um, I've already mentioned it. I don't know if Miura is going to be for sale, but I have mentioned McLaren and Caprice. Uh, these guys are, those girls still are up for available. But, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know, man, that they will be, they will be available. Uh, today I'm going to be power washing. I'm going to be cleaning stuff up, man. I'm just going to be doing a bunch of TLC for the dogs. Uh, tomorrow I'll get a dog's bath and I will be creating a walking pen. So with my walking pen, let's just talk about that real quick. I will be creating a walking pen that is gonna allow these puppies not to be swimmers. For some reason, normally when I have a litter, they are walking just fine by week four, right? Normally they're walking just fine by week four, but this litter over here, they, they I, got a, I got like three swimmers out of six. I got three swimmers out of six, and it's not a consistent. Sometimes they can walk and stand, but other, you know, when they're food, when they're eating their food, their legs spread out. I just don't like it, man. I'm tired of seeing it. And I was gonna tie their legs up and try to train them to walk by tying their back legs up, but that, I don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build like a runway for them, like a little runway alley. It's gonna be real narrow, but it'll it allow the puppies it'll make the puppies to use their back legs right it'll make them use their back legs and it'll therefore in return force them to stand up on their hind legs and walk correctly and so that's the whole goal behind that right um other than that though y'all like i said man i'm just i'm just an extremely blessed situation man uh i can't wait to see these puppies grow up i do still have a couple puppies available i do still have a couple puppies available one male one female off of this litter uh, I'll hold them up and show the ones that are available for sure, but that's about it, man. I'm not going to show anybody else. Everybody else, uh, you know, they're doing good. I might put everybody else on camera tomorrow. I really feel like I need to put my older dogs on camera. I've been doing a lot of, I've been doing a lot of videos with just the puppies and me, the puppies. I know y'all tired of seeing me. Y'all can't be tired of seeing these puppies. These puppies, I could watch. I could look at these puppies every day. You know what I'm saying? These might be my two favorites out of the out of both litters. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I can't let these two puppies go, y'all. Like these is, these these are some nice pups right here, man. These are some these some these some these some class A pups right here, man. I'm, man. When y'all you look, you can see. I know you can see it on my face, man. I'm excited about them. I'm excited about these guys, man. I'm excited to see where they take us, uh, where they take our program, and man, I'm just looking forward to going nuts, man. I'm looking forward to going to nuts. So back to the welcome box in the pool. Like I said, y'all, we are on phase two. Puppies are eating mush. Puppies are getting a lot solid. Now, let me bring the puppies that are available out. So I'm gonna let y'all see the puppies that are still available. Come here, guys. So I definitely want to bring the pups out that are still available, man. This will be a female on my right. My right, this will be a female on my right. On my left, this will be a male. Uh, a lot of people have been inquiring about these pups, but I still ain't got a deposit, right? So, you know, really, all of the talk is just talk, man. It's the show me state. I'm in Missouri, it's the show me state. Show me the money, man, or, 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 or you know, just carry on. You feel me? So yeah, I do still got these puppies available. This female will be four thousand. This male will be three thousand plus shipping, and you know you still got an opportunity to get in on both these dogs, man. Four and a half weeks. Four and a half weeks. Looking good, y'all. Looking good for four and a half weeks, if you ask me. Their little heartbeats are big. Their little heart is beating fast as hell, y'all. But yeah, so these are the two that are available, man. We got this female. We got this male. These puppies will be available. These are off of McLaren and The Boss. If you haven't seen The Boss, go look at The Boss. Go back a couple videos and check out The Boss. Check out The Boss. He's the real deal Holyfield. You hear me? Real deal Holyfield. So, um, you may like what you see, you may not, man. Other than that, though, I'm just, you know, I'm just really kind of just chilling, man. I, I like to sit back and reflect and kind of soak in, you know, our progress this far. Um, the journey has not been easy. It hasn't been a complete struggle. I mean, the bully world, the bully game has ups and downs. If you're a breeder, if you're breeding American bullies, then you just, you automatically know that this game is full of ups and downs. I mean, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. But at the end of the day, man, if you keep going, 
If you keep going and you have a vision, a true vision, you're going to get there one day. You will get there one day. And it's only a matter of time. If you stay true to yourself, stay true to your vision, man, you're going to get there one day. I'm I'm in an extremely, extremely blessed position, y'all. I'm in an extremely blessed position that I just can't take for granted. And I won't take for granted, all right? So let me know what y'all think about these males. This, 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 this male and this female, like I said, they're both available. 3000 for the left. 4,000 on the right. Here y'all go one more time. Puppy world. Big pups too. You can see that about consistent. You can't even tell them whole another one on the other side. Like that's how consistent they are. Like they're really, they're literally that consistent that you cannot even see the boy. You can see his foot over there, but you can't even see the boy. That's crazy. And she disappears. That's crazy. They're literally like the same size, man. I'm so proud of this litter, man. The consistency was great. Uh, the consistency was great, man. I'm I'm, I'm blown away, man. But uh, that's really it right now, man. We're only on phase two. We haven't started phase three yet. Phase three will be uh, puppies eating hard food without uh, the milk, without the mush. The puppies will be eating hard food and then getting milk after the hard food. So that'll be phase three. Phase four is when everybody's getting the hell up out of here and going home. That's the phase that, you know, is the hardest. Right now, this right here is where I'm just embracing the pups. You know what I'm saying? I'm loving the pups. I'm loving what I see. But when they get about eight weeks, it turns bittersweet. You know what I'm saying? Ears get the crop. And they just start to look a little bit different, man. And that's when I start to get attached to them. I don't get attached to puppies at three weeks, two weeks, a week, a couple of days. I mean, I do like them. I do. I am excited about each litter that I have. I just don't get attached to them that quickly. You know what I'm saying? I got to wait and see how they develop. See what puppies is really carrying that feature. See what puppies really got that dog in them, if you know what I mean. And then uh, that's when I like to make my picks. But I'm going to let y'all go outside. I'm going to go outside. With, I got everybody outside. I got everybody outside. So we're going to go out there and check them out. And we just talk, rap about uh, them dogs outside. Just discuss the kind of plans I got moving forward for each of them dogs. So catch me, catch me in the next thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see everybody's out here. Queen B, Mozzie. Queen B, my girl Mozzie, Yura, Demon. I don't know why he keeps trying to hump on McLaren. She's going to bite that boy. I promise you. Demon, get off of her, man. Demon. Demon. She's like, she's pregnant, dad. She, she, she's in heat, dad. She's in heat, dad. She's not in heat, man. She got Bolo, Priest. Where's Hennessy at? There she go. Hennessy. Hennessy, what you been into, girl? Hennessy, what you been doing, man? Girl been jumping all in the water. I can guarantee you that. That's where all that mud coming from. Hennessy. She think this is a she think that's a pool, y'all. She think that's that thing right there. I think I might fill up that pool today. It's supposed to get. Supposed to get 100 degrees out here today. I think I might put some water in that pool today, man. I'm gonna go grab this water hose. Fill up that water bottle for him, y'all. Fill up that water hose for him. But just to discuss a quick, a quick, some quick plans, man. You guys already know. I literally just told you guys, Caprice and McLaren are available. Uh, actually, McLaren is not available just yet. Uh, you got to give me about another week or two so I can get her body back right, and get her cleaned up nice, how I like her looking, and then she'll be available. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this girl just yet, man. This is Tennessee. I know she's gonna be bred for sure, but I just don't know to what. I normally have these type of things already planned out, but I just don't. I'm, I'm still waiting on her mom. I'm still waiting on mom right now. So once I get mom situated, once I get mom situated, I'm just gonna hang this in there. There we go. So once I get mom situated, man, then I'll be able to, I'll be able to know what I'm gonna do with the dog. But mom has to be bred first. Mazzy, come here, girl. Come here, girl. Damn, I gotta bring Mazzy first, man. She's getting old, man. She's five years old. She's five years old, still one of the baddest female dogs in the entire country. Still one of the baddest female dogs in the entire country. 
demon is looking so thick. It's ridiculous. But yeah, man, I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Bolo. Uh, I got a lot of people asking me to still breed Bolo. I, man, I, look, y'all. I'm going to put it to y'all like this. If I had room in this shed to have females that are compatible to Bolo, have females that are compatible to Demon, and have females that are compatible to that black male inside, then I would have females for all three of them. I just don't have the space, man. I mean, I literally could put maybe 15 dogs in there, but that would just be a puppy meal, man. I'm not going to have 15 dogs in there. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven to 10 dogs is enough for me. I don't need more than 10 dogs. I don't really need more than seven dogs, to be honest with you. Somebody already put their feet in there. Look, here she goes. Feet going in next. Told you. Told you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Why you got the good inside, Hennessy? Hennessy, get out of the water. Hennessy, get out the water. Get out of, oh, you just going rude ass dog, man. Look at that thing now. You got a whole pool for that. You got a pool for that reason. You got a pool for that reason, y'all. Yeah, I'm giving the whole yard a bath tomorrow, man. They need baths bad. It's bath time. It's been about two weeks since they had a bath. It's definitely bath time. And I'm feeling, I'm now, now, now I'm filling this up for the third time in two hours. Hey, stay out the pool. I mean, stay out the bowl and go get in the pool. Dang. Fill it up again. She'll probably be in it before I even get a chance to turn it off. Anybody that I miss, let's see. I don't think so. I don't think I mentioned Damon. Damon, uh, everybody's been asking me about his stud feed, man, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about his stud feed, y'all. I mean, I know I probably opened him up at about a thousand. If he paid in full, he'd get him for about a thousand. Paid in full, I'll let you get him for, oh, he put his feet in there this time. All right. Man, y'all kill me, man. Y'all kill me, man. Why y'all make me work so hard? Why y'all make me work so hard? Hmm? Don't nobody want to drink that if your feet have been all in it? Hennessy, get out of there! Damn. <coughs> YouTube, y'all don't know how annoying that shit is. Man, I gotta literally go feed, go fill it back up. Literally go fill it back up. How am I? How am I? Hey, Mazi. 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 That is good. Good as hell. I can somebody. Mazi. Look at Damon. About to get bit. Damon, get off her. I'm about to put that. I'm about to put that. <laughs> I'm about to put her up. Come on, Caprice. I mean, come on, McLean. You little dirty self. That boy going to hog you down. He ain't going to let you breathe. Come on. No problem, like that. Move, Demon. That boy trying to get in here, wasn't he? He's trying to get in. I don't know what happened to my my camera setting when I came inside. It was just like perfect out here. Oh, look, look, she's into it too. So it's all of y'all. It's all of y'all bad asses. Let's about to do it again. Should've just, you should have just went ahead and do it again. Don't be scared because I'm out here. Don't be scared because I'm out here. You want to take a dip? Go ahead and take you a dip, shorty. Go ahead and take you a dip, girl. A little compact short cell. Oh, she's trying to get in. So it's too big. It's too big, Dad. I can't get in there. I'm going to have to put them in there. <laughs> Hennessy. Hennessy. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna make this video over, man. I don't want it to last too long. I know I've been rapping and blabbing, but in my next video, man, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna be, be, how I'm gonna be building the little narrow, the little runway for my pups. I'm gonna show y'all the runway for my pups. And I'm gonna get that cracking, man. She looking good, bro. She looking real good today. I can't lie. Uh, looking really, really good, man. I'm digging that. You looking good, girl. You looking good, girl. 
Man. All right, y'all, man, this is Derek and Mo Kennel. I need to get these dogs put up, man, because they just doing the pool. They doing the most right now. And uh, I'm going to tie back in with y'all later, man. I love y'all, man. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing. I really do appreciate y'all, man. Like I said in the beginning of this video, go ahead and hit that bell notification. So that way, every time we drop a video, it goes straight to your phone, all right? This is Mo Kennel. Peace.